expect a former vice president taking a climate change, of course, too hard. It opens uh, across the nation in theaters everywhere today after a, a more limited release. And he is behind this project as well, as you can imagine. The former vice president, Al Gore, joins us live on Good Day this morning. Good morning. Good morning. How are you, Marianne? I'm doing fine, Mr. Gore. Thank you for joining us. I watched uh, the documentary last night. What made you want to do a follow-up here 10 years later? Well, in the last 10 years, two big things have changed. First, the climate-related extreme weather events have gotten a lot more serious and more frequent, and you've certainly seen uh, your share of it in California, definitely. Uh, but the second big change uh, is that we have the solutions now. And we're seeing a sharp continuing drop in the price of electricity from solar and wind. Now the electric cars are becoming uh, really affordable and the batteries are coming down sharply in price and all kinds of other solutions are becoming available. And states are taking leadership. Your governor, Jerry Brown, is a real hero of this movement, uh, not only in California, but around the country and globally. Right, with our cap and trade program, we just signed it into law for the next 10 years. Other countries now, uh, China uh, talking about uh, doing some of that. In fact, in the documentary, you showed a lot of progress when it comes to using renewable energy as well. And you're calling the documentary an action handbook uh, for people who see it. How do you, how do you mean it to, to be that for people who see it? Well, there are several things that people can do. First of all, learn about it. And the movie that, uh, that opens uh, this weekend will tell you everything you need to know uh, about the crisis, the solutions, and how you can be a part of it. And I encourage people to use their voice and win the conversations on climate. Our kids are depending on it. It's already affecting us now. Uh, and use your vote. And as a citizen, let people know uh, when they come and as candidates that this is important to you. And let the office holders know that this is important. I'm so happy that in California there were eight Republican legislators, some from very conservative districts, who joined in supporting your historic legislation. And, and so I think we're making progress now. I noted the uh, hashtag that you use in the documentary, hashtag be inconvenient. Is that meant to be uh, a, little <laughs> bit of a, a little bit of a jab at uh, what you call climate change deniers uh, who are still out there? Yeah, some of them, you know, don't, don't want to hear the phrase global warming or climate crisis. And you don't have to be, uh, you know, ornery about it, but be persistent and, and win the conversations on climate. I remember as a kid growing up in the South during the time when the Civil Rights Movement was gaining momentum, and we won that in conversations before the laws <laughs> began to change. And the yeah. same thing is true uh, with the climate movement. We're right at a political tipping point where we're going to really start making more progress. Well, I know I, I would imagine this documentary was well in the works when President Trump pulled the United States out of the Paris Climate Agreement, which you show right there at the end, uh, which looked like a, a real kick in the gut for you. Where are you with regards to that change? Are you getting politically involved in trying to put the U.S. back into the Paris Accords at all? Well, I was, I was really concerned when uh, President Trump uh, made his speech pulling out of Paris. I worried that other countries might use it as an excuse to pull out themselves. But then the next day, I was so gratified when the entire rest of the world uh, redoubled their commitments to the Paris Agreement, as if to say, we'll show you, Mr. Trump. Uh, and then uh, Governor Brown and so many other governors and mayors and business leaders here in the U.S., said, we're still in Paris, and we're going to meet the commitments anyway. And it looks like the U.S. will meet our commitments regardless of what Trump does. He's kind of isolated himself on this. Right. Vice President Al Gore, thank you for chatting with us on Good Day this morning. We'll look forward uh, to seeing it. Uh, again, I saw it yesterday. It's, uh, it's wonderful. And it's playing now widespread around Sacramento. And we appreciate your time this morning. Watch for an inconvenient sequel in theaters today. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. All right, let's check on your forecast out there.